Hi guys, I am trying to do really interesting series this month, as you notice. I did Gypsy and I did Monthlies because we are going into this Mercury Retrograde. So check my Mercury Retrograde video. I'm going to put it somewhere in the corner if I remember. And if not, just like I mean, cruise my channel, I just like posted on the same day. And I figured because many, many, many of you will want to know if their ex is coming back. So here is the X series here. X series is still, I uh, guess, on a special. It's not 65, it is still $50. So take advantage of it. Check me on cattarot.ca, www.cattarot.ca. And I also have a speed up promotion. So you get it within a week. So it's a good time to to kind of grab it and also whatever it is a general reading here doesn't have to be you so that's a good news or bad news depending on what the reading is I am using these cards they are from a different deck I have the same cards in this deck for example these are just the titles of the book and they are like kind of signifying to me the category it took me quite a few years to develop the concept that actually works that I can actually really uh, securely say the answer so this category here is going to tell me really everything that is going on for you as a couple this is going to tell me everything that is ungluing you as a couple so here I'm going to be able to know if your relationship is ever like possible if there is a possibility for ever making it I'm using the fire here for dating because Queen of Wands and Knight of Wands whether you're like a girl to girl boy and boy uh, maybe you should use woman to woman uh, to be politically correct and I hate being politically correct and the energies and communication in between the reason why i'm using once is one i'm break rule breaker i'm aquarius and i don't like to follow things especially when they don't make sense so astrology and tarot can be linked together it does make sense but when we are dating we all shift initially and even when we kind of reunite with someone we don't go immediately okay thanks for coming i'm going to just sit on a couch and finish my movie no we don't go to our regular mode we are into this dating mode and that is action that is fire so that's why i'm using fire and these two categories are going to really tell me about the outcome one if this is in your best interest if karma really wants you to do that and really what is the next step and how is this going to progress so now when you have this common introduction please don't ask me why do I have the same cards everywhere because each and every time it happens so I was really really quick with this and I'm going to go and start with the reading for each sign so let's go Oh boy, I did manage to dang this. Okay, so Pisces, what do I see here in the store for you? So what I see over here is that there is a situation that maybe uh, kind of cause you to pull inside and you do pull inside when you feel fear. This can mean denial or fear or something happening, right? And... Um, somebody needed to take the blindfold there was lots of things going inside maybe you did pull this blindfold Pisces because I do see here kind of interestingly enough uh, this card this is kind of like moving forward to possibly a better place so maybe this simply means you haven't been you know uh, you have been through the ringer and it was the time to figure out for yourself what is it you want and how do you want to get there. This card just basically talks about, look, look at the turbulent waters and look at the calm waters, a bridge over troubled waters. To me, this card is always interesting because we see these swords and these swords are always, to me, interesting because they are kind of like stabbed in the boat and that kind of is not the best idea. But since this is a painting the swords are very important you see swords and tarot talk about words but also talk about spirituality you have reached some kind of conclusion 
that certain things are just like a no for you anymore. Interestingly enough, when we kind of reach this place where we feel better positioned, things start to open. And look at this, you have the eight in the eight. How often does this happen? Communication, energy flying. Um, it's kind of weird. Finally, you're leaving. Finally, you're kind of like going on your journey and somebody is saying, okay, where do we go from here? I really think that this partner will try to contact you. You have both two and three. Lots of fire in here. Fire is that action, right? Because there kind of like was maybe time to understand this like positioning. The star card is this healing and star card. I always think of text messages whenever I see this card. And I do think very, very, very much <laughs> maybe as soon as this video is done, there's going to be some communication. I guess this is first, this is kind of weird because this is no communication. Maybe something was completely kind of Houdini and it went from this Houdini and I just need to be left alone and I need to kind of like really be in the better place to whew, all of a sudden fire right so let's see where this goes knight of swords three of swords you see these are thoughts the spirituality you guys have been going through almost like some kind of renaissance look at this king of swords still some kind of words really resonate with you or some kind of actions that kind of like felt really harsh page of pentacles ten of pentacles queen of pentacles so who is the queen of pentacles here was this person with somebody was there a bickering over being with somebody else so that's possibility uh, queen of pentacles is somebody re reliable somebody who is really good somebody who is very domesticated if she is not a third person who maybe have been you know involved in the situation maybe it was a person with a child that somehow has been involved with his partner but this could be also that you kind of like wanted to have sort of like a little family with with a child and kind of like move forward but this person this is kind of coming out for one partner so one partner definitely kind of wants that but doesn't know how to get there it kind of like feels this is slipping or even could feel for some it's kind of not in the cards. There is like dissatisfaction with how things are working out. Look at the swords. Look at the pentacles. So one party here really wants to get to the bottom of the things. Swords, you guys are water sign. You do not like swords very much because it's really harsh. It's kind of a little blunt way of saying things. Sword people, air people like to communicate like that. It's sort of like, don't waste my time. But you guys more or less like the soft gloves. So whether you're going to become like this, maybe really harsh with somebody, or that this kind of like still resonates with you, because look at this. This is rejection, and this also can mean and talk about um, the third party as well. Something really felt unjust for you. Something that has been, look at this, sword, 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 sword. And these are like those deep thoughts. Like she is the master of this psychic kind of like motion. So something has been going on. Really, really, there was lots of thought that you placed in some kind of situation. It feels like there is complete lack of balance and complete lack of uh, boundaries established. Yeah. Guys, you know what? I do see a third person. I do see that removing stability in this situation. So what to see here is like that there is not enough glue for putting these two people together. Maybe there will be some inclination to go in that direction. Maybe there is going to be uh, that phone call or, hey, how are you doing? Or even a romantic gesture, even invitation to be together. 
I don't know. Did you have the problems with this person's actions? Did you have the problems with, you know, with something else that has been going in, in their lives? Because I'm seeing here that kind of like they are sort of like resigning themselves to whatever the destiny is giving to them. They feel I have no choices. I have to do this. I'm beaten down. They're feeling sorry for themselves. And frankly, it tells me their actions are very foolish. Look at these two fives, very unstable individual. And I think that kind of affected you. Like this reading is weird. I, I can literally look at this is all really nice in the middle. And this is like sort of like just the energy in between. But each person has kind of their own things, almost like this party and this party. It sounds to me that when you communicate, everything seems to be just fine. If somebody listens to you, everything will be signing, sounding so fantastic and amazing. But it's not the way it is. It's kind of weird, like, uh, I think you'll be getting some satisfaction, you're going to get sense of feeling back, back in the saddle, feeling uh, kind of like moving forward. Now you're having these two sixes over here. This is definitely a soulmate card. Understanding that, you know, what you kind of want in a soulmate, that there was some level over here of this person that kind of like did, did, did give you the food that usually soulmate gives. But also, you felt, why this had to be so harsh? Why, you know, did I have to feel it on my skin? There is like definitely the questions that are going through your head. You're simply trying to intellectualize this. Usually when I see this, I'm saying to myself, especially because you're a water sign, okay, you still are not over it. You're still not over it. You're still kind of like mullet in your head because we need to sink into emotional decision that this aha moment is like, uh, I get it now. Literally, it's a switch. It's flicked. You can know all you need that you shouldn't be drinking. You shouldn't be, you know, using drugs and putting yourself in dangers. But in the spur of the moment, people do all kinds of things, right? And hence emotionally when something costs you let's say okay i don't want to use this example that crossed my mind let me think of something else let's say you say something to somebody oh i don't know i pff, i hate your hair right and the person is really 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 deeply affected but you are completely oblivious to that right I'm not saying that you guys would do it because you're so kind and sweet, but it will be, person can explain to you all he or she wants about how that affected you, but until maybe you experience something similar or maybe you see your daughter or your mother being subject to something similar and then it hits you, oh my God, that's what I did, I get it now. And this is not to say, and, and this is just the difference between person being belligerent and person being clueless, right? So that's what I'm trying to explain over here. So let's see where we are going from here. Yeah, I don't know. Was there something that was heading toward the altar, but there was not enough stability or somebody was married? It, it Look at this. Like now I have three sixes. It is a karmic relationship that we are talking about. Karmic relationships hurt. They hurt because the lessons that we learn hurt. But lessons we learn are like muscles. You know, you go to the gym to rip the muscle. You purposely rip it because it comes back stronger. So this is very similar with our spiritual growth and relationships. Karmic relationships hurt. You're ripping this muscle. Okay, what I'm seeing over here, look at this, major, 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 major. This is kind of like hitting this ending. You are kind of like really realizing that one person is realizing over here that I am, I'm feeling okay. I am feeling that I don't want to commit. Absolutely, this person just doesn't want to come close to commitment. There is a complete burnout in exchange with this person and 
other person was just trying to kind of like come across and talk about their standpoint and why they have to do it i don't know it almost looks like this person who could be married saying well you know you don't understand me what i'm going through and how can you not understand me, me, me. i'm going to say yeah actually i do understand what you're going through what you don't understand that i don't want somebody who is going through that because that's hurting me that is f not feeling right right it is just not sinking in it's not passing even that intellectual filter so in the end i see that you pisces are going to kind of get busy with kind of like day-to-day -day things kind of like nose to the grindstone kind of like what do i need to do do i need to put a sandwich in my kind of like for tomorrow's lunch etc and kind of decide that for the time being um not to really go into anything deep kind of recover from this burnout take a rest the other person is not going to be <laughs> able to understand your decision in in that respect honestly you might be even experiencing some kind of gaslighting and that's why the sun came reversed and they will try to saddle you with their own sorry to say the word shit right i'm going to say you know what i already have enough of mine to thank you very much no but no thank you this is really encouraging this is telling me that no matter what the outcome it's going to be remember how i explained this card it's going to be okay the emperor says the balance is coming here the understanding maybe you guys are still kind of going to kind of understand each other tempers is saying something's the right time right place right person maybe this person has to understand that that if you have all this baggage whether this is like current wife or somebody from the past who's still a big baggage this is not a problem of this person this person is innocent you know how i per my personal beef is which I hear a lot um, I with my dating clients. Oh, well, you know, he has children, so children always come first. And I'm like, why? W w what's, what's up with that? And I get it that in the initial stages, of course, you're not going to just say, well, everybody kind of on the side, but establishing the hierarchy where you're saying, hey, you came in my life, but forever you're going to be number five. It's ridiculous. And I think this is kind of like that realization. No, I am moving forward. And I think you're going to move forward with kind of like not really looking for somebody else, but somebody else might be reappearing completely. You're moving forward to the point, Pisces, that you'll be fully repaired. Let's call it this way, repaired. <laughs> you're going to be able to take a pick, but you'll be just tired you'll go oh my gosh i just like need some rest whether it's spring in the northern hemisphere or fall in the southern yes guys the Aust australia guys africa uh who else south america they actually have fall right now for those of you who kind of like got shocked with my previous video and we have spring in the northern ones so both seasons are sort of in between seasons and we both lack D vitamins, so grab some rest, sit in the sun, and let things go from dark to light. I'm really intrigued, uh, Pisces, that you give me your comments, because I didn't see this much of air in Pisces in a long time. And there is like somebody who is really grounded, who kind of like has the firm grasp and firm obligations. It's going to be really interesting to hear your input. And thank you so much for being here for me, with me. I still have this on a special. Check it on my website at cattero.ca on special. And until the next time, you know that I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.